can come back again, some fighters come back again yeah. and have the opportunity to, to compete. You excited for the race? Very much. What do you think no. you can do? I think uh, it will be a nice race <laughs> and a tough one. And uh, with these weather conditions, I think uh, it's not very well. What would you imagine the time? I'm sorry. Okay. What do you think you can do in this race? Uh, we should try to go for sub 60. Yeah. yeah. So we talked a little bit about uh, last time being here in New York. So after the race was canceled, where did you kind of have to pick up the pieces from there with your training? And uh, where did you, what did you end up doing? Uh, last time after New York, when it was canceled, we went back to Kenya, training, and uh, got an opportunity to compete in Honolulu Marathon. Went there, competed there, win, then back to Kenya, recovering for two or three weeks, and then start training. So this is the first race this year. Yeah. Honolulu, I mean, I think a lot of people, I mean, I guess some people thought that most of the runners would try and do a race, you know, within a couple of weeks, if possible, of New York. It, you know, it went after that was canceled. But you, Honolulu was about a month later, right? But you, you managed to maintain in pretty good yeah, condition yeah. over that month? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's, if for somebody like me, I don't know to, 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 to keep my ship. Yeah. So... To, yeah, it was just it was just to to, to, to to make sure that I stay fit for the next one month because the, the ship was already there. Okay. What a little bit warmer in Hawaii than uh, than here in New York City. Huh? You see? A little bit warmer in Hawaii. Yeah. Than, than New York City. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, Hawaii was very warm, and uh, you find that uh, the rest starts very early. Before around, when it's still dark, right? Around five, yeah. five a.m. Yeah. So you know that when it is still dark, it's less oxygen. So it was very tough to, 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 to race in the early part of the of the race. But as we raced, you find that it was becoming warm and warm. And, and you liked it? Uh, it was good because uh, I tried to really, I did a, a nice calculation for the race, mm -hmm. which was really good and enabled me to, 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 to secure a win. Okay. So it was very hot. Is it, is it common for you to, uh, before a major marathon like you're going to do in London, is it common for you to try and find a race like like this one, you know, a half marathon, if, you know, a, a month before? Yeah, I think uh, I've been really doing this for the previous, before every marathon, try to, to go for an half marathon to see how the body is responding, to see how fast I am, to see how the, the endurance part, how it is. It's good, and also to, it's like a start. Yeah. To give the put that that push to see how the, 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 to to get used to, to the com, 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 competing atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think of the the field for this race? Yeah, the field is, uh, I can say it's strong because uh, we have some guys who have, who have uh, a lot of experience in maybe road racing, and we have new guys who are debuting. Which you find that, uh, we, we, that they are very dangerous sometimes. There are faster guys in maybe like Ben Lagat. He's faster guy in 1500, 5000, but you never know if he, have, if he has done enough training for, for the half marathon. Sometimes these, these upcoming guys or those who are doing deep, sometimes they can surprise. So we have to be very, very sharp and keep a close watch on them. Well, for example, um, Julius Aureli, is that how he's huh? You know this fellow? Yeah. He's one of yours. Do you know him well at all? Arriba. He's got one of the best times coming in. Is he somebody that you know? Julius Arriba, yeah, I know him. Yeah. Have you trained with him or anything? I know him, but uh, he's not really a threat to me. He's not really a threat to me? Yeah. No? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and how, how about... Uh, how is the training drama? going overall for London? The training is going on very well. And the preparation now is, after this race, it will be five weeks to London, so it will be enough to, to, to really see how I can adjust the training. And are you doing some training with Jeffrey Mutai? Yeah, at times. Training with Mutai, maybe sometimes not. Do you have a, who's your who's coaching here? Is that, do you have a coach? At this time, self-coaching. And it, there's been some news about... You know, the drug testing in Kenya that's made some news and a couple of Kenyans have been caught with drugs. Has that affected you in any way or do you have any thoughts on that? No, it doesn't because uh, I think uh, the issue of 
maybe using the drugs is, is, is on an individual basis. If one decides to use and is caught, he or she carries the cross. So I think uh, we don't, I, for me, I don't speak for a general, I don't generalize the athletes because it is an individual affair. Have you ever suspected that there was much going on there in terms of? Drug use? Have you ever expected? Have you ever suspected there was much going on in the country as far as drug use is concerned? I don't think so, because uh, there are so many guys who are really training hard, and you see the, the, the type of training they are undergoing. It really contributes much to their performance in various races. Mm -hmm. right. But I think that, that the few have been got it is mainly. It's just some some guys who try to, 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 to trick the guys to cheat them into the, 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 those drugs. Because some guys when they are injured, somebody tries to, to, to tell them that this is the, the medicine to use so that you can become well from your injury. And yet the, the, the treatment has some substance which is which is prohibited. So later on he find themselves in a problem without realizing it. They take advantage of some the literacy of some guys. Well, it's not good. So it's, the, it's really the agents that you... No, no, no. No, no, no. Some, not the agents. Or medical people? Yeah, the medical people. Yeah. 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 Okay. Looking ahead to London, the field is so incredible. I mean, last year you destroyed a very strong field there as well. Is it, obviously, the goal first is to win. Do you think the world record could possibly go with the field, or is the London course too many turns? I think uh, the course this time for London is really very strong compared to all other races which I've really seen and performed and raced. I think that this time it will be very competitive. And uh, being a competitive race, you find that sometimes it is very challenging for the guys to, 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 to race because. You love like seven or eight guys, very strong potential. Each and every one has the capability of winning. So you find that sometimes it is very challenging. It will depend on how the, the, the guys will be tactical and how the race will be handled from the start. If the best will be very strong enough to, to detect the pace at the world record pace, then you find that towards the end, those who are strong enough and under the base and win the race. Isn't it usual that like the, the top athletes like yourself, don't you actually request a certain pace of the race, of the pacemaker? Don't you actually like tell the pacemakers what you want the race to pace to be? So it depends because sometimes you you, you might require a very fast pace. Mm -hmm. And then your colleague requires a very slow pace. Yeah. For the first year. Yeah. And then they want a fast pace in the second half. And some guys really like a fast pace. Mm -hmm. And then the, the second half try to maintain. Right, right. So you automatically have to disagree. Yeah. <laughs> to some extent, yeah. Going back to London, after your Olympic uh, experience, what will that mean to you? I think uh, going back to London really means a lot because uh, trying to, to, to look back last year, you find that many of my races are really did very well in the UK. London winning, Olympics, bronze, I'm going back there also in half marathon in Great North Run, also winning. So I think uh, going back again this time, and uh, I really look forward to, 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 to defend my title and try to really secure the win. Do you think, do you look at London as kind of a second home, some place that's very special to you? Yeah. Sure. What's your favorite part of London? The city or the course or competition? I think, uh, you know, everything in London is very good. We try to look at the city, the course is very nice, 
we can run a world over there and uh, also with the, the competition so the strong feel even last year was a strong feel and this year it is more strong than last year mm -hmm. so I think uh, I think it's very nice there a lot of people cheering yeah sometimes the weather is not very bad it's cold but not too cold warm but not too warm so sometimes it's very conducive to, to, to race in such a warm weather condition when you're training with Mutai is, are you in I-10 or, or what part of Kenya are you in? You see? when you're training with Mutai in, in Kenya what part of Kenya are you in for training? What part of Kenya are you in for training? It's, it's close to Eldoret, not very far from Eldoret. Okay, how's that spelled? K A P N G E T U N Y. Okay. All right. And so basically, this is actually going to, you know, with the marathon being called off and all, this is really your first time racing in New York. Yeah. yeah. Last time. You know. If, it, if they call this one off, I bet you won't come back. <laughs> Before that race, you, you said you didn't do too much exploring of the of the city. So this time around, have you gotten around and looked and saw some of the some sites, or was it just strictly training uh, at Central Park? Or? Yeah, I think uh, you know, for an athlete, when when you have been invited to a race, you find that most of the time, even during your stay, your mind is mostly the set to to. to you really think and uh, focus much about the race. So even if it means going out, your mind is not really... You, you can get time to, to move around after the race. So you're going to stay in the hotel until uh, race time? <laughs> <laughs> because for me, many of the races which I try to, to, to really go, you find that before the race, I normally stay in the room, just out, have meals, back to the room, watch movie, just relax, drink water, just be prepared for the race. All mental is really focused on the race. But after the race now, if I still have maybe one day to travel, maybe I can, I can go out, yeah, move around. Yeah. But as we go around, maybe for the press conference and everything, get an opportunity to maybe see the town. Right. Yeah. So the race, the run you did with Abdi this morning, was it mostly, was it, was it pretty much on the first part of the course? I mean, did he try and show you where the hills are going to be for the it's first only, part of the course? Yeah, he just showed me a little bit that going to, to pass here. Maybe the past 10k will be the central park yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of that part? I mean, some hilly stuff. There. Yeah. yeah. The past 10k, I saw it more, more ill. And yeah. it's good because the past 10k, many of the athletes are still strong. Yeah. So if the second part is more flat, and maybe the second part, you, many of the many athletes will be really feeling weaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just a few days ago, Meb dropped out of the race. So were you kind of looking forward to a little bit of a rematch with, with him, or was it? I mean, what are your thoughts on on Meb? Yeah, I thought I thought he was supposed to be here, but when he cancelled, it, then. <laughs> It was too unfortunate that we could not get an opportunity to, to maybe race again. Yeah. Well, if we look at the, the people, I mean, you, know, you mentioned some of these people are new, um, but I guess one of the, besides yourself, one of the best PRs would be, uh, for half, would be Tesfai uh, Germa. Germa? Yeah. 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 Strong guy, yes. I know him. Okay. Bernard Lacat, yeah. Five thousand. Even this guy. Leonard Kurir. Oh, Leonard Kurir from, yeah, uh, yeah he went to Iona. This guy, debutants, you know, I told you, you don't take it easy. The strong guys, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. Chimsa also. Teresa Chimsa. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you think maybe it's possible when you come out of the park that there might still be, which is about let's say halfway point, that there probably would be five or six guys together. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really see any point in like breaking yeah, away or halfway, already. but from 12k. We start now to can you, keep can you, a push. Yes. Yeah. You got a late start in running. I mean, you're 31. I think you really started taking off internationally when you're like 25 or 26. Yeah. Can you talk about that? I mean, what 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 did you do for running in high school and after that? Like from your career path is a little bit different than a lot of people. 
because you got such a late start. Yeah, it's like, what were you doing when you're 22 years old? Were you just... for, for me, I really started late. In my primary school and secondary school, I was not really doing it professionally. Or I had not felt that I can be really an athlete and I can do it professionally. So I was just doing the, 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 just the competitions for the schools, to a certain level, and then back, maybe in high school also. Competing a little bit, but not full time because when the schools were closed, I would not go to maybe to the training camps to train with the guys. When the schools are closed, just to stay at home, maybe do normal activities at home. When the schools are opened, I just go to school. But when we have competitions in school to, to, to compete, you find that uh, with little competition, I would really compete very well. With little training. In school? Yeah, in school. Little training. We just train. If, it is, if we have a competition in the next maybe two weeks, I just prepare for two weeks. Yeah, a little bit. At the school at four in the morning, a little bit for two weeks, and then compete. But I will compete very well. If it is 10,000, 5,000, maybe position two, three, just there. Yeah. But then after school, what happened? <laughs> After school, it took a while, right? Yeah, after school, you know, it was not really deep in my heart that I could really do it professionally. So it took some time just staying. Maybe. Were you working? What were you doing? No, not working. Just farming. Farming. Doing a little business here and there. Just see, hanging around. Yeah. But then how did you start running again? And then I started. After, it was like, uh, it was like three years. I stayed, I stayed at home for three years. Just farming, doing some little business here and there, maybe using the bicycle. After three years, then I started now to, to train. Because I saw now that uh, some of the guys who are my friends, well now suddenly they were enjoying the, the, the training. And I saw that now so many strong or so many athletes could really earn a living. You see? It's just like you make a decision that let me keep a trial on this to see how it's working. But so many of my friends were really telling me that I can make it. I can run. So was, it, was it people who you'd been beating in high school? Yeah, yeah. And they said, hey, you yes, should come yes, back yes. out here. Yes, guys like William Chirchir were running in 1500, 800. So you find that after school, those guys try to, to proceed on training and sometimes you find that I could beat them you see so I now started to train because uh, especially when I was in after it mainly started when I stayed at home for three years and then there was the, 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 the recruitment for, for, for the Kenya police they normally during their recruitment they normally they normally employ athletes who can compete and represent them in various competitions. So they did a little competition in our small town, you see. Then I decided to, 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 to join the, co the, the competition for the selection. Then I won. So I was given the opportunity. Come in. Are you, are you in the police now? Yes. So you joined the police right away? Yeah, then I joined it to, 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 to represent them in various competitions. So because when they did the little competitions uh -huh. in our own village, I won with little training. Were so you just going out on your own and training from your house? Or was there a group or you just run from your house? <laughs> for the police competition? Yeah, I just, I didn't even train. No training? No training. <laughs> None at all? I just moved to the, I, I, I didn't even have the training shoes. I you just, just showed up and said, I'm going to run. I the leather shoes and then... Perfect. Yeah, I just put on the, the, the shot and then tried to compete with the guys. How, and I won. How far was the race? It was like uh, 5k. Do you know what you ran? They, they had a, a lot of 5k. I, I had not even watched, no time. <laughs> just a loop of like 5k. And then when you come, and then those who come, maybe like top 10, they, they recruit. You get a job? Yeah, so they recruit and then you train. When they have their own competitions, you represent them in various competitions, national, yeah, just within the, the, the country. So the, from there, I just joined in and then started to train. Then the guys told me, hey, you can, you can, do, you can do very well. Please, go to the training camp and start training. So from there, I started to, to do it now actively. So what year was the race, the police race? Yeah? What year was the police race? 2000. 
2003. So 10 years later. Yeah. I mean, now you're pretty much <laughs> arguably the best marathoner in the world. Do you think you're number one? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> and when you look back to London, the Olympic London, you made the very strong move. Do you think maybe if you'd gone not quite as hard early in the race, you could have won? Uh, it, I don't think so, because uh, when I took off, the pace was not really very high. Even the pace which I was running in front, it was not really very high. It was not very fast pace. It showed that uh, there was no company. There was nobody who tried to follow and try to, to, to assist one another during the race. But the, the, the whole race was very challenging. Very challenging and it was very odd, a lot of corners. So it was really, it was not conducive for, for, for I felt that my body could not really respond towards the end. I think it, I really tried even my best to, to finish. Right. Yeah. And who, you said your friend, was it William Churcher? You said he was running good 1500s and 800s in Kenya? Yeah, by the time they were running very good. You know the two, the two brothers, the, the Cornelius Chirchir and William Chirchir, they were running very fast in 850. And you'd gone to school with them? Yeah, sometimes. So they said, hey, you should yeah, serve. Yeah, yeah, but the guy was really, who inspired me most was Paul Tergan, because we come from the same, not very far from the same, just at the next village. Yeah. So he was kind of an inspiration for you? Yeah, he was, by that time he was now running very well, and I was still coming up. So he really inspired me that, and he was really encouraging many guys that, please guys, train. If you need any assistance, he would assist you very well. Maybe training shoes, maybe truck suits, go for training, assist in one way or another. Yeah, that kind of motivation, yeah. So when the Churchill brothers were talking to you, was that before the police race? That was before. Still in high school, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you.